Hello, hello. Hi, this is Anup here. And in this video, we are going to see how to update Chrome browser using Intune, right? So I'm in a device management portal, uh, Microsoft 365 device management portal. I'm in applications and in the applications, right? I'm going to click on all apps and click on add and this is an MSI application right which we are going to deploy so let's check where's the MSI application option so this is the MSI application option over here in the bottom line of business apps right let's click on that and click on app package file select file and browse a file right so let's do that this is the location where I stored the file so I'm going to use this one this is a file okay and I downloaded this file using uh, my blog post I have a blog post over here okay about deploy Google Chrome update with SSEM step-by-step -step guide if you look at that blog post you will see a uh, option to download this MSI Google Chrome latest MSI to your laptop right so that is that is what I did and I I'm going to upload this MSI and let's see how it goes okay I click on yes the app version is 67 that's a different version I don't know from where it is taking that version number but the actual version is something different all right the actual version of that MSI is this one okay so let's let's click OK and let's see what is the other op informations which we need to kind of fill let's check what are the other informations which we need to fill in in app package file all right sorry app information configuration over here right so I'm going to use the same name in the description right and publisher is basically Google Chrome no it's Google right and it is automatically selected the app, app install context is device context that is selected by Google MSI itself right so the next part is I'm going to select a logo for Google Chrome so let's do that I'm going to save this Chrome icon which I got from internet over here in my in in this location right and save it let's let's go back over here from a device management portal let's let's go to the Chrome icon folder and select the icon and see whether that's okay with Intune okay that's fine Intune is happy with that icon <laughs> okay so let's click on OK to continue and if you have a scope tag defined then you can use a scope tag over here right I'm going to use the scope tag text over here and click OK and click on add button to save the application the save application got saved now what is happening is it is getting uploaded right as you can see over here the MSI is getting uploaded to Intune or Microsoft Cloud somewhere in Microsoft Azure right it's a 57.44 megabytes I don't know why it shows MIB that's pretty new for me <laughs> okay anyways uh, it depends how much time it is going to take uh, it depends on your internet speed and it's very useful as you can see uh, there is a percentage complete notification over here and it says 30 
38% completed, 42% completed. That's pretty nice thing. Earlier, they, this was not there, right? So let's wait for this to complete. Once we have that completed, we can deploy this or assign this application or Chrome update uh, to a group of devices so rather than users I would deploy to devices right okay let's wait for that and come back say is completed now Google Chrome upload finished if I click on that it will take me to the Chrome application and you can see over here right the application is ready to assign to some of the devices if you want so i'm going to add a group and i'm going to add so in while doing the add group you have couple of options more than couple of options okay <laughs> available for enrolled devices so this is kind of um, all devices collection in SCM world right and required uninstall I'm going to go with required over here for this Chrome update because this is zero day kind of update right so I'm going to select over here there are couple of other options right we can deploy it required as all users we can deploy this as required for all devices right so probably I can do this if I want this update to go to entire estate, entire devices like that would be kind of 1000 or 2000 or 20,000 right depending on your organization right. So in this case I am going to go with a smaller group of devices that would be I don't know I need to find Right. I don't know what is device category. Let's find out what are the groups I have. Let's check Chrome whether okay. I got a group called Chrome Update Test Devices. I'm going to deploy or assign this particular application to that group of devices. All right and I clicked OK OK and now I'm going to click save once you click on save it will start the kind of deployment process right so click on save it says saving and save successful assignment saved successfully that's good news and that's it right <laughs> uh, we are done with the deployment now let's see what is the process happening at the device side let's check the client side of it right so this is my windows 10 device i have already deployed google chrome to this particular device right okay <laughs> so as you can see uh, there are two applications installed one is intune management extension other one is google chrome as you can see over here google chrome is already kind of installed in the background right so as you can see this is the uh, shortcut to google chrome so while waiting for that to launch let's okay so google chrome is getting launched and let's go back to device management console over here i'm in that same application google chrome and i can see that it's installed on one mission right one device okay so if i click on that or if i go to device install status you would be able to see okay it's got installed successfully on that uh, windows 10 device okay that is a google chrome update or google chrome deployment or google chrome installation through intune modern device management way right so that's it for this video thank you for watching if you like the video please click on like button if you don't like the video please click on thumbs down button or unlike button see you next time bye bye